Okay, I wanted to do a video um, on my personal experiences of Divine Truth and um, Jesus and Mary, or I've always called them AJ and Mary, but um, yeah, I feel that um, something I need to do because like it's just not it's just not easy for me to be in this world without I don't know sharing some of my experiences and just being just frank and honest about where I'm at as well um, my experience has been that maybe when I was 23 or something um, I found one of the... Well, my friend Alex gave me a DVD um, about the um, secrets of the universe. And I watched that um, DVD and I instantly... I instantly just thought it was true and felt it was true. Like, there was no real... Um, like... Resistance to the fact that it just... It was just obviously really sincere and true to me. And so from there, I just decided to go and watch more DVDs, I think, and went to a seminar in Brisbane. And I was just, like, amazed. Like, I was just astonished. Like, I had this big feeling inside of me of, like, excitement. Like, oh, my God, Jesus, you know. And I'm not really, like, a religious person or anything, but I was just like, Jesus is here, you know. Jesus. And I was just so, like, just bursting out of my bubble, you know. I was just totally just just yeah like <laughs> I was just like I couldn't believe it you know I just had this joy of like whoa um I did have another thing going on inside of me of like I'm, I've got to test this guy you know but it was sort of like I've got to test him I've got to see I'm going to ask questions I'm going to find out if this is true and so I went to a lot of and you probably see if you if you watch the DVDs you'll see that this stuff is true, you know, like, and, and I'm probably there in the, in the audience, you know, and I, at that stage, I was very, very, very pretty disconnected from myself, like, I hadn't really experienced, um, myself, um, how I have, um, in, in my life now, and, and that's, that's all thanks to Jesus and Mary, like, without the divine truth, like, I would not even have had these experiences of getting to know myself, I don't think. Um, and I, I'm not saying that I really know myself, but a lot more than if I hadn't had those experiences. And I was, I was sort of, before that, I was very into the power of now, like Eckhart Tolle. And, um, and sometimes I practice that just because I still struggle, like, I really do still struggle with spirit influence and, um, and, and my intellect, like, I just get so caught up in my intellect, um, and fear, like, you know, I just live in a heap of fear still, but, you know, I, I've dealt with some fears, and, you know, like, that would not have happened in the, in the authentic way that it happened without the, the divine truth, you know, and so after a few of the DVDs, I wanted to, like, I think what I did was I said, okay, I'm going to give this a year. I'm going to do this experiment that Jesus talks about, about, you know, having a longing for divine love and divine truth, and then having a longing to feel my own personal emotions. And maybe two years I spent trying to feel emotions, but I think by the end of the first year, I, I had an experience where I was looking at some photos of myself as a child, and the photos just seemed to really connect me to my heart and I just bawled like I just started bawling a lot and crying a lot and and I and I had this this finally I started to feel this real longing for God you know um, and it's hard for me to talk about it at the moment because I don't feel very close to God at this point in my life I've sort of had a pretty rough last few years I've sort of I got very derailed and I feel a lot of to, a lot of things with the spirit influence around me has tried to derail me from, you know, getting into a, a better better space on, on on many levels, you know, emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially, all all the things. And um, so, like, 
I've done I've done enough experimenting to know it's true. Like I, it is no doubt that divine truth is the truth. Um, and you know, if you do any amount of experimenting with it, and and I suggest just do that one experiment. You know, of just developing this, having the concept that there might be a being that actually loves you, <laughs> that there there might actually be a being out in the universe that loves and wants to give that love to every child on the planet, um, every person, if that every if any of those people want that love, you know, all, all you have to do is have that emotional longing, and and what you'll find is a hundred, you know, you're guaranteed to receive it if you have a sincere feeling, you will receive it, and you and it will change your life immediately, you like it. it and, and it, I mean, it comes in, you know, pieces. And, and the more you do it, obviously, the more progress you'll make. And obviously, Jesus has done it a lot. Because if you just watch one of his videos, you can see he's, he's on another level to any other human being. You know, he's, he's, he's a very loving person. And I've had the privilege of having a lot of help from Jesus. Um, you know, back in those early days, like, he, he spent a lot of time really trying to help me. And um, and I think a part of that is because, you know, he could see that I could really help a lot of other people out there who struggle with this experience of the spirit world, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, we, we, you know, the more sensitive you are in, in your soul, the more you tend to experience other realities. Um, and so, I mean, there's just so much I could say about it. I mean... I, I even got to stay with them for a few days in their house. They invited me over, and and my idea was I wanted to do this documentary, and and I've still got all the footage, you know. Like it's just my for the last ten years, my computer's been a complete broken mess, and every time I try to do something, it 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 fails and packs up, you know. But um, that's my law of attraction, <laughs> and so um, but you know. The thing is that they they they're just the most lovely people. Like of all the people I've met, I've never met anyone who's treated me so well. You know, just hospitable, hospitable, kind, gracious, loving, intelligent. I mean, there's just so many things, so many qualities that they've got that are, that that just it just astounds you. If you spend a few days with them and you and you you know not judgmental of them and you just want to get to know them as people you'll just see that they're just the most loving people and so my suggestion is just have a have a look at the dvds and see see what you think and if you're not into it then that's fine like that's that's part of the the, the teachings is is just free will um so yeah like I've, i'll probably do some more videos about my experiences of divine truth but you know i I've got to, I've got to take some action. I, I, I feel like I've just, you know, I've, I went down this track of trying to be a musician and rebelling against the truth. You know, like this rebellious thing about my emotions and, you know, not wanting to feel my emotions and da 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 da. But it's just, you know, I just feel it's not the way forward. I, there's no other way forward for me. I've got to, I've just got to be more honest, and I want to put my self forward I, you know I've been quite lonely and you know like I'm I live I live you know how I live and you know and sadly like if you watch one of the DVDs uh, of the interviews about they, they do this channeling of uh, an Australian man who passed and he spent like 50 years in, in, in one of the first sphere locations in the hells and you know, I've been really distressed the last few years because I could just, I can just see that, you know, if we don't change our direction, it, it's not going to be a good, you know, the the general direction that we're headed as huma humanity, like, unless we embrace um, a different direction, whether it be in a in a natural love direction or a divine love direction, like, we're just going to keep doing what we've done. And the pre and I've had a lot of interactions with spirits, and you know, many spirits who are just in these terrible conditions, you know, and we and and this is kind of generally where we're headed as people, and 
Um, so like my suggestion is is learn something of the truth and learn what you can do to get into a better condition and that will help yourself and that will help other people and so you know I went down the trap of trying to help my family <laughs> this is totally nuts because like I, sh I should be trying to help the world first you know help people see what we've got to do to, to you know not do what we've done in the last generations you know and it's just, um, yeah, um, yeah. So that's just what I've been through recently. The last couple of years, it's like I guess you could say is technically be like psychosis, you know, just being totally distressed. And um, but that's my fault, you know. I engaged all these addictions. I got tricked in my head, and you know, went down the wrong track. But you know, I know that if you apply the principles of divine truth, your life will get better. And if you do it continually, my my guess is that my life would continually get better. It won't get, it won't be like up and down. It'll be more like up and up and up. So anyway, that's me. That's my experience of divine truth. And I hope you all um, check it out. And if you don't, I wish you all well. And whoever watches this, yeah nice to meet you in an indirect way <laughs> not that I'm meeting you but you're meeting me but yeah it'd be nice to meet other people sometime anyway take care bye